In the 1960s, your mother, who many of us know, Lucille Ball from I Love Lucy and all the other things before and after I Love Lucy, actually, mm -hmm. had a radio show called Let's Talk to Lucy. Yes, she interviewed people she knew and had worked with and knew for a long time and other people who she didn't know at all, as is want to happen when you get a radio show and people start suggesting, oh, you know, you should talk to so-and-so. Oh, yeah, I don't know them. That'd be interesting. So she talked to a lot of different kinds of people. And uh, yeah, just she wanted to get to know people on a different level than the, than the level they are usually on when they're being interviewed for a magazine article or for the Johnny Carson show or something. It was much more intimate and it was much more about their heart there, what they believe in, what, how do they live their lives? What, you know, very, like you, it, you it's like being a, a fly on the wall uh, mm. in these conversations. And because they took place in the mid sixties, regardless of whether you knew who these people were or not, they're fascinating conversations. And she talked to an awful lot of people who were from Andy Griffith to Mary Tyler Moore and Dick Van Dyke. And uh, mm. yeah, it's, it's a treasure trove. What can I say? I'm, I'm glued to it uh, most of the time. And pretty soon it'll come out on a podcast. As soon as this is finished, this 24 seven channel 104 on Sirius XM, then the podcasts of it all will be released. And then people can download, subscribe and, and yeah. listen to them when they can, you know, they have that's what I'm looking forward to for yeah. my bike rides. Yeah, 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 really yeah, looking, yeah, exactly. I'm really looking forward to actually, she talks to Vivian Vance, doesn't she? Yes, she did several episodes. Okay. Absolutely. That. I'm really looking forward to that because that's I think, a really good one. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure yeah. because we often don't like, we don't, we rarely get to hear Lucille Ball talking to Vivian Vance. We either hear Lucy talking to Ethel or Lucy talking to Viv. Yeah. It's fascinating. And she, I love hearing it because Vivian was a really good friend of mine and a mentor. My, I think I may have told you that on an earlier broadcast that she was my theater mentor, got me to go on the stage after the TV show. And I just loved Viv and I miss her and I miss her voice. I don't hear as much of her voice the real Vivian Vance, not Ethel Mertz voice anywhere. And uh, mm. to hear her reminded me because she called, well, Miss Ball. <laughs> call <her> Miss Ball. <laughs> well, you know, Miss Ball, Lucille, Miss Ball, they had a very chummy, sister-like noodle, mm -hmm. you know, with each other kind of wonderful relationship. And they both went through a terrible, you know, divorce period uh, at the same time. So oh, really? Yeah. Vivian was leaving her first husband, Phil Ober, I believe at the same time that my mom and dad were getting divorced. So, you know, they have a lot of simpatico in the way that, that they have approached life. Great fun, ridiculously silly sense of humor together. They giggle and scream. So yeah, yeah. That'll be a great one. It just happened to be on yesterday when I tuned it in again. You never know. I mean, I sit with my phone and I go, "Where's who's mom talking to now? And I go up to Sirius <laughs> XM and I go, who's she talking to now? Go live. Who are you talking to? Oh, she's talking about Lucy Day at the World's Fair. Oh, in 1964. Yeah, that's what she's, that's what she's talking about right now. Oh. That's... All night long. I could get up and go to the bathroom and she's talking. <laughs> My mother's talking. Who's to she me. talking to now?